Here's all the electronics for the SEX10 um, that I'm working on. Uh, I already have the Mabo Max Pro, the Tekken Rock Crawler motor. I now have a high tech 50, 5645MG. This has a much lower torque value than what I was originally looking at. But I've got waterproof high tech servos in my AX10. So I've got two of these out of my AX10 and free trumps the expensive 7955 that I was going to get for the Honcho. So it ends up with the 5645. That's about 170 ounces of torque. Um, a lot lower than the 300 I was looking at with the 7955. But uh, it should do. It should be more than adequate um, for what I need to use it for. And like I said, it was free because I got it out of another project, and it's basically brand new. I just wanted my Ridgecrest to be waterproof, so these got yanked out. So that's what I have for the the servo. In order to get that up to 170 ounces. I need to program the BEC for 6 volts because it's set at 4.8 right now. I also need to program the ESC. So I'll be doing that now with the Castle Field Link. That's this card. It can be used in the field or at home. I never use it in the field. Um, never had to, needed to use it in the field. I don't see why I personally would need to use it in the field. I keep it at home. It's not something I carry around with me. Um, pretty much set everything at home and I don't have much need to change it. Um, it's basically just this programming card and a USB cord which I already have plugged into an old Windows PC that I still have from way back. This Windows PC's only purpose is to run the Castle Link software. So I'm gonna run the Castle Link software, get everything programmed up, and then give the electronics a test run before get it installed. So the first thing I'm going to do is get the BEC programmed. I'll plug in the, the Castle Link through the USB. And Castle Link already identifies, the software already identifies it as connected. I'm going to take the BEC and align it correctly. If I can ever keep it held. Align it correctly. The black is the brown. Plug that in. And Castle program automatically identifies it. So the BEC setup is pretty easy. Um, as soon as you plug it in it shows your USB connection status that means that it's connected to the card and device connection status means that it's connected to the BEC from there you just go to basic and change your output voltage it seems that this BEC is already set at 5.1 I thought it was at 4.8 but it's at 5.1 and that seems to be default so we're going to just scroll down to 6 volts, which I got from the website as the operating voltage to get it up to 168 ounces of torque. So just as simple as that, you push update and the BEC is programmed. So from there. 
we just disconnect the B C and move on to the ESC. Same procedure except for this time since I don't have the red lead hooked up due to the fact that I um due to the fact that I have an external BEC I had to disable that red wire. So this requires the the ESC to be plugged up to get power. So I have a battery here. And plug her up. It should work. Now, you might have to turn the switch on. Yeah. Flip the power switch on this. And the castle program fires right up. So now we just go into I'm gonna go through some of the menus. We start with basic, auto lipo, all this all this information is good with reverse, all that. Break them out. This is where you you can set your brakes to be stronger less. Uh, I normally leave it pretty stock. I put the drag brake crawler crawler status. This will stop your truck dead on if you let off the throttle. But um, I like it because it keeps you keeps you steady when you're on the hill. It won't have your truck rolling down the rolling down the hill so I turn the drag brake on max reverse power I always leave it 50 percent that's the internal BEC voltage so I'm going to leave that alone because that's supposedly disabled I'm actually going to go ahead and put that on 6 volts. So that's basically it. And you'll update. And it'll set set the ESC right up. So now that that's updated, disconnect. And test the ESC. So now we set up the the ESC and test it. Um, you have to calibrate the ESC at first, so you see I'm applying full throttle while I turn on the ESC. Waiting for that tone. Now apply a full brake. Waiting for the tone. Neutral. So now the ESC is armed and ready to go. Give it just a little hint of throttle and the fan shuts off. Servo is operational. Now if you can see that servo working. 
All this is driving my dog crazy, so he might jump on the table here in a second. And and a little bit of throttle in reverse to test the motor out. There's a lot of vibration going on here. But it seems to be working just fine. Oh, that's not right. It's stuttering and skipping. So I'm going to go in the Castle Link and see what I can do to adjust that. So everything works fine. It turned out that my problem was that my leads weren't connected to the right ones. Uh, I thought I had them connected A, B, and C, but obviously I got them mixed up. I marked them and still didn't connect them right, so that's completely user error. Um, runs much smoother now. It's a little noisy. That drag brake's kicking right in. See the camera picking up the jerk when I stop. So that brake is great. I'm gonna have to be very careful until I get those steel drive shafts in there. I may even turn that down because that is that's some serious locking right there. So anyway, the motor and the ESC and everything work fine, and now we get those all installed into the truck. So there's the electronics for the Hantra build.